hi guys how do you do welcome to this example tutorial today we're going to see how to work with this custom list view of course a list view with custom card views now as you can see right here our card view is going to consist of two text views and of course one image view this is it guys this is what we're going to look at if you click a single item it shows you uh, the particular name of that particular spacecraft we're working with spacecraft objects we show their images we show of course their text we show also right here of course are uh, the propellant actually the name and then the propellant okay so this is it this is sim these are card views by the these are card views uh, material design card views of course we are displaying them in our list view this, this is it this is what we're gonna make let's get started now the first thing given that we're going to be using card views let's close all these after you've created your project of course i require you to come to a build of credit of a radio model app then I'll require you guys to go ahead and then make sure that you have this particular dependency for the card view given that we shall be using card view in our project please make sure you add that one then click here to sync your project then of course once we've done that one we're going to come to our layouts now for us of course our activity main right here we're going to have a list view that's what we shall be working with then of course you come over here you design your card view the way you wish okay take note that the route I'm having the card view then now you can design it the source code guys you're going to have the source code of course in our website so if you don't like typing you're going to have it over right there and then modify it we are having right here copy paste your images in our drawable folder once you've done that one then let's move over to our code so we're going to have three classes custom adapter class main activity and then the spacecraft what's the spacecraft well these are data objects it's going to represent a single spacecraft it's going to have an image name propellant then we generate its getters and setters once we've done that one we're going to come to a custom adapter custom adapter class we're going to make it derived from base adapter okay because this is a custom list view remember we come first we're going to require the context and then the spacecraft passed to us to into this particular class then of course given that we've derived from base adapter we're going to need over right here to come and then implement several override several methods over it here first get count we are simply going to return the size of our spacecrafts or of course the yeah you it get its the total number of items in that particular array list get item id we're going to use the position or of the item of course as its id then get view we're going to inflate our model layout of course convert it into a java view object first we're going to check if our view is actually null is when we perform our inflation over right here once we've done that one we're going to get a single spacecraft s by calling this the get item we pass in the position this is the position remember then this is going to give us a single object as you can say right here then of course we cast it to spacecraft then of course we reference of course the views that we have image view and our two text views then of course we set the data right here s is our spacecraft we simply call get name then get propellant and then of course to handle our item click we simply call view.set on click list and remember this particular view is going to represent a single row for us so if a single row is clicked what do we want to show well we want to show of course right here this particular toast yes then we come we make sure that we return this particular view this does it that's going to do for us that's our custom adapter class or about our main activity well our main activity is where we shall wrap things we're going to have of course these two objects we come reference our list view then we instantiate our adapter but then we need the actual data so we come create a simple method right here that's good i uh, have an array list of course first we instantiate our spacecraft set its properties then add okay then we reinstantiate it set properties and then add it to our spacecraft collection we do that one to as much data as we want then of course at the end of the day we come set our list view that set adapter we pass in the adapter this does it that's how we, b we use of course our stuff over right here so if you want this full source code reference we're going to have it in our website if we run the project right here this is of course what we get over right here okay so does it guys i'm hoping you guys have enjoyed the tutorial please if you have hit the like button share it and take care also make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of our tutorials take care i'll catch you in the next tutorial